Regular stop and searches by officers are a fact of life for many members of Bike Storms. They're a bicycling club in London. Many members are from black and ethnic minority groups. The stops may be especially jarring because Bike Storm says it actively discourages violence and tries to redirect energy from kids with disadvantaged backgrounds into cycling. 17-year-old student Tri Williams describes the moment he was pulled over. A few weeks ago I was coming back from, um, I was getting something to eat in East Street and he was coming back home and then the police just literally like pulled us over. There was about four, there was about four X5s undercovers and they, they boxed in this, it's, I was in a Corsa they boxed us in and they told us to come out. They searched us and then they did a drugs. They did a drug search in the car and got dogs. I mean, we was there for like an hour. Official figures show black people are nearly ten times more likely to be stopped than their white counterparts. Mac Ferrari is the founder of Bike Storms. You are not disciplining your feds. At a Black Lives Matter protest in London this month, he told his views to a police officer. What you need to do is go to your police that are being racist out of the van. You need to go and have programs and classes for them. You need to change the way that they think. Because you can stand there and say, cool, you're cool with black people. But my, listen. It's not just young black men and boys in London who say they're unfairly targeted. Leroy Logan is a retired police superintendent who runs his own youth group. But he says even he has been searched since he left the force. You know, since retiring, I got stopped. And I'm thinking, why? You know, And it does create emotions in you that you think, well, if, if it's a legitimate reason, fine. But if it's not, then you get a sense of real frustration and anger. You think, well, why is that? You know, and it shouldn't be. And, and unfortunately, through the years, that's been passed on from generation to generation. The message here is simple. They all say racism has to stop. And until young black men feel like they're treated the same as their white counterparts, some will continue to develop a distrust of society in general and commit antisocial behaviour.